regardless, we won. So heck yeah, go us. We're amazing. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody? Welcome to some more gameplay. We are going to be jumping into Selesnia Humans today, uh, which is a really fun list. But before we do that, just as a quick reminder, if you're not already, please subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. It'd mean a lot to us. If you like the video, please feel free to do so. It really does, any little interaction like that, leaving a comment, anything really does help us out, especially being a small time creator everything makes a difference. So please do uh, take the time to do that. It would really mean a lot to us. But let's talk Selesnia humans. Uh, this is my own version of this list. I am testing a lot of stuff in this one, uh, and I really like what I'm finding, actually. Uh, so obviously, we got a lot of human support in the new Innistrad set. You'll see most of the cards in this set are actually from Innistrad, uh, mostly from just wanting to test some stuff. But uh, starting us off, we have Lunark Veteran, a way to gain a little bit of life, but also if it blocks, if it dies, whatever, it's okay because it will come back and then hopefully gain us life on the back end as well. Uh, I do have Flare of Faith in here because this is a humans list. I thought I'd try two of these. Uh, basically, for every creature in our deck, aside from maybe one, uh, they get plus three, plus three, and indestructible. So essentially, this is our, our save yourself kind of spell. Uh, but it is also a great way to you know power through some extra damage if you need to. Uh, Intrepid Adversary, a card that we've seen before, uh, very, very good. 3-1 for 2 uh, with lifelink. Already pretty good because that lifelink is, again, going to keep us in the game, especially in best of one uh, standard. It's going to be really helpful to have that. But when it enters the battlefield, if you happen to have enough lands, you can pay one in a white any number of times. Uh, as you pay that cost, uh, put that many counters on Intrepid Adversary. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one for each counter on Intrepid Adversary. Uh, we do have a little bit of a, a nice little way to kind of combo with this, which is Catilda. Dawnheart Prime, another beautiful card from the new set. 1-1 uh, one, one for 2. Pro Werewolves, sometimes relevant, generally not, but you know, you are seeing a good bit of werewolves now. Uh, human creatures you control have tap and add any mana of that creature's color. What's great about that is basically we can ramp out any of this stuff and we actually, again, with that Intrepid Adversary, are able to pump that up multiple times, which in, in turn obviously pumps up the team. Now, additionally, we do have Augur of Autumn, you can play uh, you can look at the top card of your library at any time you can play cards play lands from the top of your library at any time excuse me but uh it has coven which is another new little mechanic here as long as you control three or more creatures with different powers you can also cast creature spells from the top of your deck so this works very similar to like realm seeker in a uh, elves build or something like that where the hope is at least that you're able to uh continuously kind of play stuff off of the top of your deck i do do want to throw in a couple of uh not evolving wilds maybe fable passages or something like that uh the reason being sometimes you get you know two lands on top you need to shuffle having those shuffle effects could be very helpful uh so i might do that before we jump into games that's something i was testing on uh sun gold sentinel three two for two whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks exile up to a one card from target graveyard this is really here just to get rid of those graveyard decks it's only a two of it's not my favorite you do uh have the option to give it hexproof with the coven ability which is nice uh but in general it's not my favorite i just thought i'd try it join the dance a great way to get extra value L works great with the lunark veteran uh as well as katilda just to spit out as many tokens as you can uh brutal cathar a great way to exile stuff on the opponent's side of the field and get just a really powerful card on that uh nightbound side uh adeline um interesting card its power is equal to the number of creatures you control so it's very powerful also does have vigilance which is relevant uh and whenever you attack for each opponent create a 1-1 white human creature that's tapped and attacking just another way to spit out as many tokens as we can to kind of build off of the uh katilda as well as the lunark veteran uh briar bridge tracker just a really powerful card it also investigates which is fantastic we do generally have some other tokens so it's okay to sacrifice that 
Uh, we have Sarith the Viper's Fang giving everything conditional death touch or hexproof. It's just a way to kind of power through a lot of stuff and make our things difficult to deal with. Sigarda, an amazing card. 4-4, four, four, Flying Trample for 4. Humans you control get plus 1, plus 1. That's pretty good. Uh, but on top of that, if it attacks and you do have that Coven ability, you actually get to pull a human from the top of your deck and put it into your hand, which again can help shuffle for the, the Augur. And then I'm trying Majar, uh, Majah, excuse me, uh, the Protector here. This is a Kaldheim card, but other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, create a one, one white human warrior creature token. Uh, it is a human, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, it should be really interesting, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna make that quick change with the fabled passages here but other than that i think we're good to go we're gonna spend 20 30 minutes trying to you know see how we do with this one hopefully it'll be a fun one hopefully you guys enjoy let's jump into game one all right guys here we are for game number one and this is not really a keepable hand two forests is not exactly what we want so we're gonna send this one back and hopefully get something better uh i did look at fable passage fable passage is not in standard i don't know what in the world i was thinking um i definitely thought it was still but that is okay uh we have got this i believe in us uh let's get this veteran down looks like potentially gonna get frostbite here uh but you know that's okay we we immediately get a two for one with the lunark veteran unless they like exile it which is really helpful as it turns out by the way if my voice is a little scratchy it's because i just woke up <laughs> it's early it's very early oh is this the deck this could very well be, uh, oh no, I hope it's not. Um, I really hope it's not. Uh, it could be, no, that, yeah, I guess it could be. It might be trickery. Let's see. Now would be the turn. Okay, no. That's good. Uh, good, good, good. All right. Let's send, uh, I think we're gonna do this. Uh, we're a bit over committing at this point, to be brutally honest, uh, but I think we'll be okay, potentially. This is a very good card, so it's gonna definitely wanna get removed uh, on the opponent's end. Um, we could have just joined the dance, excuse me, but I did wanna be mana efficient. We have the Brutal Cathar to deal with a creature uh, any opponent may, the opponent may play, but it looks like they're not going for that. All right, so they're gonna double up here sure uh that's honestly not the scariest thing in the world um i mean it definitely sucks that they're getting rid of this stuff don't get me wrong but um it's not the end of the world i think we can do something about this so they are gonna learn again i've got the mascot exhibition sure uh so how do we want to do this is the question um Uh, yeah, I think I'm actually going to do this. Um, they're most likely not really going to want to spend too much time dealing with all these little tokens. So I'm going to spread the damage out first and then play the Viper's Fang. That might not be correct, I don't know, but we're going to try it. This also sets us up nicely. If we happen to draw a land, we can just flash back these Join the Dances, which, I mean... That's pretty good. A little two for one there. Uh, this deck is all kind of about little two for ones, honestly. It's actually really convenient that we can do so much of that in this list. Um, and we did draw a land. Uh, nope, not what I meant. Um, let's do this. This, again, definitely gonna, gonna get removed. <laughs> There's no doubt about it, but we're still dealing a lot of damage in the meantime. Um, I mean, this is adding up to a decent chunk. They're going to be down to 11. Um, granted, they can burn stuff now that they are tapped. Uh, this has basically any untapped creature we control, other than the Viper Swing, obviously, does have Hexproof. But then on top of that, any tapped creature just immediately has Death Touch. So any of these can then trade off with anything that they play with the Mascot Exhibition, which is kind of nice. Uh, sure. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they had to take that turn off from playing that mascot exhibition to kill the Viper's thing, uh, which is worth noting. Okay. What you got? I'm assuming another burn spell, which would make sense. Yep. There's the frostbite. So they're going to take out, I assume both of these. Yeah. 
again, great, but all they're doing is dealing with these little one ones here. It's not like there's uh, a ton that they're dealing with. Um, all right, was kind of hoping for a land off the top, but we didn't get it, and that is okay. We are gonna push through. Again, they could have, they might just play the mascot exhibition this turn, uh, which would be a very reasonable play. Alternatively, ah, they have a sweeper, okay. Well, thankfully we saved the join the dances uh, because we just get to play them all. <laughs> um, uh, do we want to gain the life, I suppose, is the question. Um, no, I'm just going to go for the join the dance. Let's go for the mana efficient play. Um, while it's only two one ones for five, that doesn't sound great. Um, it, it's basically buying us a good bit of time here is the idea. Uh, and they do have that mascot exhibition in hand, so we are going to need to power down and, and get them out of this game. I don't know if we'll be able to. I really don't. Um, the Brutal Cathar will be good against them once they play the exhibition, so I'm hoping to get a turn of uh, something out there. Uh, we'll see. We will see. I have high hope. I have very high hope. Guys, how are we doing today? I hope we're doing well. Oh! Look! Yeah, I got my be lucky hat. Um, wow, it sounds weird when you don't have headphones on. Uh, I got my be lucky hat. So these are available in our store. It resolves mtg.com uh, slash shop if you want to go directly to the shop. Um, really, really stoked. We've got a lot of new stuff there, uh, which I highly encourage you guys to check out. Please don't feel like you have to buy anything. But of course, if you would like to, it is there for you. Um, we tried to price things as low as we can and still make some amount of profit. Uh, just because we're not trying to, we're not trying to money gouge. We know we're a small channel. <laughs> um, but I thought that, uh, creating some cool stuff there, some merch for you guys might be kind of fun. Uh, I have gotten a number of things in. We also have these, uh, little be lucky stickers, uh, that are available as well. Uh, all right. So I'm going to do this first, um, and then join the dance unless they have a counter. I'm going to try and join the dance. They might have a counter here. Nope. But this gains us a little bit of life. And again, if they kill everything, they kill everything. But we've got the Lunark veteran to come back. Now, crucially with this deck, thanks to these dual strikes, they've been able to get some, some good value off of a single spell as well. So these two for ones aren't as high value as maybe uh, they would be against a basic like mono red list or something like that. But all that to say, they are at six. We are at 26, um, which feels somewhat good um i mean we definitely just attack in and i think we end the turn i'm so curious as to why they're not playing the mascot exhibition uh and they didn't activate this i'm so curious right now uh sure i feel like this wasn't the best play, like at all. Um, just gonna do this and attack. We really didn't have to, but I mean, this wins us the game. That was a weird sequence from the opponent there. Um, regardless, we won. So heck yeah, go us. We're amazing. Let's jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, yeah, and this is a keep. It's a little heavy on the land side, but um, we should be able to make this work. We've got the Flare of Faith if we need to kind of muscle out something here or protect the Lunark veteran. I don't know that we'll really need to, but... Oh, look. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, we'll do this. We'll see if they want to... <laughs> this is such the wrong play, by the way. Uh, all right, cool. <laughs> uh, my thought was if they block, I could just flare and faith it, or we just trade and then I just have stuff, but that's totally the wrong play. I just thought it'd be kind of funny. Um, all right. So they could have Infernal Grasp here or some removal spell. I would expect that's probably what they're holding up, uh, which is good for us because, again, we do have that uh, flare of faith. Um, and I am going to pass. I'd like to leave this up for later, if possible, or leave this up with the Flare of Faith, which we can't currently do. So 
Um, this is like the most unexciting game ever. <laughs> it's like two people with a little toothpick poking each other. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, do we auto pay? I think we do. Um, and we'll just attack in here. It's not the best thing in the world because now they are going to be incentivized to just kill it, um, which is, you know, what it is. It's fine. I did think about putting Evolving Wilds in the list, by the way, I saw that, but I don't really like having too many tapped lands in a list like this because it is an aggro-centric list. Um, all right, if they're not grasping or killing or doing anything like that this turn, then... All right, there we go. I was about to say, they really should... Um, <laughs> Let's do this. Let's see if they fall for it. I really doubt it. I'm being way too aggressive with this. Do they think I'm bluffing? This is like the worst removal spell, I feel like. I feel like that's not very good. Alright, they fell for it. What in the world? Hey, stop. Lou, come here. My dog is being crazy, everybody. Lulu, come here. You wanna say hello? I'm gonna try and get Lulu. Come here. Come here. No, okay. You don't have to. I was gonna try and get my dog for you guys because I think she's adorable, but. Uh, not gonna attack, obviously. Do you wanna come here? Nope. Okay. She didn't want to come. That's okay. I just thought I'd try. Well, now she wants to. Look at this. Hi, baby. Nope. She is being so picky. She's being crazy. All right. Uh, we're definitely going to lose this game, by the way. They've got this thing out, which is very, very good. Uh, and yeah, I don't think we've been drawing a lot of land here. Oh my gosh. Still more land. Um, yeah, nothing we can do. Hi. My dog is adorable, guys. I want to show her to you. I really do. Yeah. Oh, look at my doggo. Look at this little thing. Mm. She's a sweetheart. She's the best. All right, set her down uh, and we're just going to die. Um, <laughs> sorry guys, small distraction, but she's adorable. I love my dog. Um, cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to concede here. <laughs> Let's go. That was a mess. Let's go to game three. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are for game three. Uh, and this is about as good a start as you can hope for. We've got the Lunark veteran. We've got Katilda and we have the Augur. Um, I'm going to try it. We're going to see if we can make this one work. Uh, the Join the Dance might be the play before the Katilda. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Uh, oh, and the the uh, opponent did mulligan pretty aggressively, too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, just once. All right, that's fine. Um, Curious to see how this actually plays out. Every time I've played up against this Shambling Gas, they've always gone for the treasure token, which is weird in this style deck. I would think they would go for something else. I'm gonna just let the hit happen. Not terribly worried about it. Uh, if they've got a removal spell, they've got a removal spell, sure. Seems like a very aggressive play from the uh, opponent there. Um, I'm gonna say let's join the dance. Um... Yeah, I think that's probably the right play. Uh, next turn, if we want to, we can Katilda. Um, and what that does is allow us to start ramping out a few extra things per turn. Um, if we do this, we do this, and we do this. Now I'm sure this is going to die. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. Um, but... We're gonna try and spread things out a little bit here. If they attack in with the Shambling Gas, we do not block it. There's no way. Um, 
And if they do it, if they do kill the Katilda at this point, it's kind of okay because everything at this point is kind of just extra. We can drop Sigarda this coming turn, uh, and then just have like way too much power for them to deal with, or just drop the Augur, um, if Katilda lives, and then or both really. I mean, we can do both. Oh, really? Huh. That was an interesting play. I did not think that would happen. Um, hmm. All right, well, I'm going to throw Sigard out. Uh, I think I'm... Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get semi-aggressive here. They're going to block with the Shambling Ghast, I assume, uh, which is going to kill one of them. <laughs> oh, no, they're just going to take it. Okay. I mean, that's fine by me. Um, it's an interesting... I feel like the Shambling Ghast is like a you kind of want to kill it deal. All right, but so here's the trick. Now they killed Sigarda, but we still have the Augur. <laughs> uh, oh, and a backup Katilda. Yes, please. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's drop this. Uh, unfortunately, we're not able to get, but that's fine. Let's do this. That works. Um, weren't able to play the card off the top, but now that we've got the auger down, um, we should be able to. Okay, cool. Uh, this is going to be a bit scary because uh, they are building up quite nicely here, but we should be able to make some stuff happen. Uh, all right, let's get a green source off the top for sure. Uh, let's get you down. That allows us to play creatures off the top. No, 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 excuse me. Oh, yes, it does. Thank you. Whew, goodness gracious. I am all over the place. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> this is where this deck gets really fun. <laughs> all right, we did it. <laughs> so now we just got a lot of big stuff. Uh, so unless they're about to sweep, which I doubt this deck does, we should be in okay shape. Um... Sigarda is going to trigger next turn. They do have Death Touch on all of these things, but it looks like they're not willing to do it. Perfect. Uh, this is going to create a little white human creature token, which is fantastic. This is going to take out the Death Priest. Uh, we're going to get that out of there. Let's get another Augur down just for fun. <laughs> uh, we can actually do this. I'm, I'm going overkill at this point just because it's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, we'll drop another one. <laughs> Why not? Uh, these do not have Death Touch. Fantastic. All right. Yeah, we're going to attack with everything. This also puts another creature into our hand. This has Vigilance, which is great. Uh, what do we want? What are we feeling? Uh, it might be another Tracker. Tracker does seem pretty good, just being able to attack in with Vigilance. There we go. Heck yes. All right, I think we're going to end it there because I do want to record more videos today. So let's let's chat about this list. All right. So Selesnia humans, what do we think? Uh, obviously, again, let me clarify by just saying, and I did say this at the top of the video as well, that um, this is much more of a test deck uh, to see what the new cards in Innistrad hold for us. If they're working in the meta, if they're not working in the meta. Overall, I feel like this deck is actually at a decent starting point. Uh, definitely, definitely could use some refinement. I think there are a lot of things that you could do that will probably make this deck a good bit better. Um, I focused very heavily on Innistrad specific cards and only humans and just tried to make that work uh, and I do think again we saw in that last game I mean it goes crazy if you get the right combination there uh, which I think we did I think we did pretty well with it um, again two wins I believe and one loss that's not bad out of three games I'll take it uh, and I really enjoyed it it just feels so good to be able to kind of throw a bunch of stuff on the board and say okay answer it because a lot of times in standard unless you have a sweeper it's not gonna happen uh and i think on the best of one ladder in particular you're less likely at least to find the sweepers i think a lot of times right now in particular usually after you know a, a big rotation like we just had 
you're not going to find quite as many control decks. You're going to find a lot more aggro lists trying to capitalize on just gain a bunch of wins. Uh, so regardless, I do think this is a great starting point. Take it, see what you guys can do with it. I think you can do some really amazing stuff. I hope you guys will play with it and send me the list. I'd love to see what you guys can come up with. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Again, please like, subscribe if you are not already. It really does mean a lot. But until the next time, guys, I'll see you later. Have a great day. I love you all.